Hi, welcome to my standoff scale scratch built workshop where I'm going to um, present today Henley Page Hayford 1935 and uh, it's going to consist of uh, two off NTM prop drives 35, 36, 1400 kV, 55 amp maximum electric motors which proved to be very successful. 60 amp minimum ESC, I think I used a 70 amp. Uh, 4000 milliamp hour 4S battery, 20C, 8x4 APC propellers, one left hand and one right hand. The span is 1650 millimeters with a cord of 220 or 65 by 8 inches. The weight was 3440 grams, which is 7.6 pounds which worked out to be a wing loading of 15.82 ounces per square foot, which is about equivalent to a trainer, and it has uh, four inch wheels. So it uh, proved finally, after a bit of experimentation and modifications, uh, very successful. And at the end of the build, I'll show it um, flying. So thank you for watching. Here we go. Here's a short preview of it flying before we build, just to whet your appetite. Way back in 1977, I, using profile publications number number 182, I built a small 45.5 inch, 1,156 millimeter, 5.5 pound. Uh, Henley Page Hayford using 2.15 cubic inch motors and uh, when I came back into the hobby uh, last year I decided um, using flight test techniques of their foam um, cardboard uh, sheets to build a bigger one which is the subject of this YouTube. We start by obtaining a three view of the Hanley page by going on the internet, going to um, images or pictures and typing in Hanley page three view. And when we find a good three view like the one I obtained, we go into uh, our uh, Microsoft Office publisher and uh, start to enlarge it up to our wing, si wing size span of 1650 millimeters as per my YouTube how to enlarge and print three view scale plans for model aircraft and then print it off onto A4 or preferably A3 pages and then uh, using sellotape stick them all together and from those plans we will build our plane. And an alternative method is to use the following link to extract my enlarged scale Handley Page Hafer drawing, which I placed in PDF format, and then print it on your printer in multiple pages. So there's the uh, reference to put in the uh, search bar up the top of the Google page, and hopefully you'll be able to download that PDF scale drawing, scale to uh, the size this plane was made at. How to use the alternative method of downloading from uh, Google Drive a full scale three view picture of the model we're about to build. First of all you uh, copy this uh, link then we open, I have to write it down, we open up our uh, Firefox in Google and then in the Top line up here, we put in that link and we press enter. That takes us to Google Drive where I've uh, placed in there some pictures of the Henley Page Hayford with the three view diagram to uh, the full scale of the plane we're building. So we want to download that view. So we can go to uh, Downloads. And 
that we can save the file and then open with uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader the PDF file but it's easy to adjust at the moment we'll just open it okay so we've opened that in the PDF document which gives us tools to print it and then we go to uh, our print printer I'm printing to an Epson T50 series printer we're going to print a poster so click on poster and here is a typical poster 81.84 by 57.87 inches wide we can go either portrait or landscape for these squares it doesn't really matter in this case they're all the same amount of squares so you're going to have one two three four five six seven by one two three four six seven 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 forty nine so it'll be forty nine a four pages printed so um, let me go properties okay text and image print preview sheet a four border borders Portrait page layout. Here we go high speed. Grayscale. Okay. Okay. Print. And here's all our. Uh, 49 pages and notice they've got crop marks there for cutting it exactly to this right page size to match up and then you just print it and after you've printed it then stick it all together with uh, sellotape or similar so so I start by cutting out the profiles of the airfoil sections, one of the middle section and the other one of the outside sections with the spars. So I work out the height of each spars from the uh, three view drawing. Then with the three millimeter sheet of foam board, uh, we mark out our uh, left and right wings with our center sections one thin and one thick and remove the paper from the area where we're going to curve the nose the spars are five millimeter foam board twice the uh, the height sliced down the middle and bent over and glued glue to the top sheets of the wings and then also add a wedge at the hinge line of the ailerons so you have some uh, material in which to put the hinges in make two dihedral bar, uh, spars from about one eighth ply uh, about uh, 26 inches long both the same uh, height for both uh, wings for the uh, top wing center section i'd fill in the or pack it pack up the areas in the middle where eventually a bolt will go through um, to strengthen that part of the wing so they don't get crushed. Hot glue the plywood dihedral block brace first to the top center section then to the bring in the outer panels and glue them to the dihedral brace and the center section then finally do the bottom panels gluing them first to the spar area letting that dry then doing the trailing edges and wedges at the aileron hinge lines glue in an infill step area note these wheels were later on uh, changed wheel pants were made from five millimeter foam board a piece of foam for the nose just shaped appropriately and hot glued on these were changed in width as we went on the uh, wheels were too narrow and the suspension system was too light 
So uh, we change that. We put some ply, uh, one eight ply plates in. They could be a little bit bigger and thicker. Uh, the music wire was changed to a higher grade. We went up to 3.8 millimeter or 0.2 inch music wire, uh, and they were screwed to the ply plate. Later on, we had three mountings. The little brackets were made from aluminium, very light aluminium, but just bent to shape. The wheels, I found some toy wheels. You can buy uh, four inch wheels, but I used these fairly light and just put a wooden axle in the middle, drilled a hole through it. We used three mounting points with the little aluminium brackets and then hot glued them over the top, uh, which worked out quite successfully. Note the wheels were moved well forward of the C of G to prevent uh, tip overs on landings, and that worked really good. The tips of the bottom wing were finished off with a piece of foam shaped to size. Cut out engine cells and uh, firewalls for the engine mountings. Firewalls are from 1.8 ply. With the ends still open, we now can feed in the Y cable for the ailerons and the servo for the ailerons underneath the wing and the uh, throttle Y cable for the two motors also. Before the wing ends were capped, the aileron servos were glued into the bottom of the wing at approximately on the outside of the wing supporting struts. A Y type power cable was now prepared for the battery and motors. Later on I had trouble with motor synchronization so I solved the problem by adding a ferrite coil to both motors. Uh, I didn't uh, remove the red lead on any of the cables, I left them both powered and that seemed to work okay. It will work with both right hand props or both left hand props, but uh, more ideal with one right hand and one left hand both rotating towards the fuselage. Gives much better results. Ends are now capped. The air scoops are now prepared out of 5mm foam board and hot glued into place. Ailerons are now cut out and hinges glued into place. Don't forget to trim this away so the aileron can move. I add some heavy packing tape for extra strength along the top of each wing. Add horns, music wire, collars, etc. I make my horns out of 1 8 ply when I need to. We now make some cardboard spaces to space the wings accurately apart, getting ready to uh, put in the struts. For wing struts I used half by half inch balsa cut from a half inch sheet. Uh, cut through 
both wings up and down and then uh, left with plenty of space up at the top and bottom, glued them and then trimmed them off. And uh, with the hot glue where there were bumps and that, I ironed them out with a hot iron. Connect top and bottom ailerons. We now proceed to cut out the fuselage using five millimeter foam board. And I did it in two halves, uh, front and rear, and then basically uh, hot glued them together with a bit of reinforcement. Large coffee stirrer sticks come in handy for reinforcement in right places. This is the battery compartment. The wing assembly is held on to the fuselage by a one millimeter ply plate and quarter inch nylon bolts, which are screwed into these T nuts on the uh, fuselage. The three axis flight stabilizing system is placed at the center of gravity at this point. We now build the um, fuselage to bottom wing support which evolved like this. So using a bit of uh, foam board we start building it up with some 1/8 ply on the bottom, 1 mil ply on the top, <coughs> some hardwood sticks, hot glue, Build it up into its right shape, bolt through the wing, lighting holes. Uh, this is the front plate for it to reside in. Found uh, that it started to come away, so we had to build a bit of a, a long arm and attach it to the back of the wing. Some uh, supports on the sides to guide it in, plate on the front. That's the uh, supporting plate to the back of the wing with a bit of aluminium um, folded around the back of the wing. Basically, it all slides into place. Tail wheel is now installed before the uh, elevator and rudder are fixed on top.
note we coupled the aileron and rudder together with more rudder than aileron. Place battery well forward for a C of G of 80 millimetres from the uh, leading edge. It even fits in the back of a station wagon. Well, we finished building, done all the modifications, got bigger, thicker wheels that will take the grass, move the wheels forward so she doesn't uh, tip over on landing, put uh, left and right propellers on so she goes straight down the line, had a mixture of aileron and rudder, and up she goes and it works very well. Fairly light loading. The tw twin motors really pulls it. Plenty of power. So it's a good model now. Easy to fly. I'm not an expert. But it's not uh, hard to control it. Let's bring it in with a bit of speed on landing. It flies very successfully, very happy with it. So if you build one, I'm sure you will be too. You can add more to, uh, detail to it. I've basically done the, just the basics. But I want to spend uh, more time flying than building. But I, I do enjoy building. And I do enjoy flying too. I don't want to spend a year building. I think I could build one of these now, probably within uh, two weeks. Stabilisation system works well. Don't forget the ferrite coils on the uh, two throttle cables coming from the ESCs to stabilise the motor synchronisation. Don't forget to check your C of G. C of G, 80 mils from the leading edge of the top wing. Don't forget to watch your battery voltage. I put one of those little um, Hobby King uh, battery voltage alarms on it. And watch the amount of time I fly.